Hello traders out there in Traderland. My name is Dez here at Grok Trade. This is the weekend edition. Good through July 20th, 2014. That rounds out this week on Sunday. Take a look here at the markets as a whole. Um, on Thursday and Friday, huge change of events. Big drop, big pop back on Friday. Google came out with some great earnings and that certainly helped things out a bit here in the markets. But what's interesting here is we did get a close below the 20-day moving average and we popped back above it, showing some relative strength. If I go here to the spiders, what's interesting to look at some volume. Yesterday we broke down on significant volume. Today we popped on pretty good volume. If you look here at the Dow, you'll see big um, pop here and drop, drop and pop, still within an upward trend above the 20-day moving average. Look here at the NASDAQ. We were below the 20-day moving average. That's the blue line here. We got back above it. Really interesting to see. Big change of events. It needed to happen on the Russells. Had this drop, drop, drop. Now we have a bullish engulfing. Big pop here on the Russells. Everything's looking fairly bullish. You look, go here to the banks. You'll see we're dropping, 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 dropping. We're trying to come back here with a, a bullish Harami. Um, on the daily. Not looking too shabby. Take a look here at gold. Uh, just caught up in the moving averages, not doing a whole lot. Same thing with silver, kind of caught up in the moving averages, whole lot not going on. I always, always like to do the weekly charts. Here's the S&P 500 weekly. We go higher, 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 building kind of a base. Interesting because this could be a flying plateau, meaning we have higher ground to go if we can stay this base. On the Dow, still going higher, higher, higher. The NASDAQ. Flatlining, building kind of a base above all major moving averages. Small caps, Russells, pulled back to the 20-day moving average and actually closed just a hair below it, 20-week moving average rather. So it's a bull pullback looking for a possible bounce here. We'll see if that actually happens. If you look here at the banks, the banks had dropped, 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 rallied back, dropped. I'm going to get rid of the Fibonacci here, pulled back. We're now caught between the 20-day or the 20-week and the 50-week moving averages. Relative weakness, actually. So it's not doing as well as what we're seeing here in the markets as a whole. The problem is, if you take a look here at the monthly chart, you'll see that we are struggling up here at this upper area. We had this big rally here on the monthly chart on financials. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting choppy up here. If you look at the S&P, we're just going straight up. So the banks are not supporting this bullish move. Furthermore, volume is drying up at these higher levels. Uh, we keep going higher, 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 volume drying up. On the Dow, higher, 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 volume drying up. You can see it right down here. We've just been dropping for the last year. for the la Actually, the last few years, just dropping, 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 dropping. The higher we go, the less volume that we have there. As far as the next NASDAQ is concerned, a little bit of chop here, a little pop. But for the month so far, we have this doji. We're just hanging around right here. So it looks like we're just on thin ice. Russell's, look at all this choppiness. Russell's looking a lot like the financials. So you have small caps financials both showing a lot of choppiness on the monthly charts up here at these highs. We're at this resistance area. Be interesting to see what happens. Apple, and by the way, um, I own a, a number of these right now. I have a little pop here above the 20-day moving average. This daily chart on Apple, not too bad here. Amazon, up, up, and away, looking very, very strong. Amazon, I wish I still held that one. Facebook has popped up above moving averages. It has some resistance that it would be dealing with. Google, wish I still owned it. Got rid of it before earnings and boom, to the moon. Doing very well here. GoPro, topping around. LinkedIn, a bear flag. Stay away from that. Microsoft, looks like earnings. Big, big volume, big pop. Last couple of days, doing fairly well. Netflix, here, ooh, stay away from this. Looks like... Uh, low base choppiness it looks weak Twitter here looks like you could be finding support kind of a falling wedge type formation look for an opportunity to the upside on Twitter could be a buy right here so get the very best of tactical analysis right here at Grok Trade again my name is Dez we're here to serve you here to be mentors and to help you be a more educated trader there's a ton of money out there to make in the market so all you have to do is put your net out there and capture it those who are the most educated and the smarter ones out there the more savvy traders make the most money make sure you're not undereducated. we're here to help you take care and safe trading